Hey, what's up, you guys? It's good to be back. It's good to be back once again. And uh, today, I thought that I would make a, uh, I guess, a, a video that I find really important to me and uh, my life, I guess, as far as me trying to improve myself and and not stagger. Uh, I wanted to explain uh, why. I stopped smoking weed, or why I just, I, it was just necessary for me to stop smoking weed, first of all, I've been smoking weed, uh, I want to say between the ages of 13 to 14, and it was just on and off until I got to college, which was about 18 years old, um, once I found myself to get real comfortable on campus and I started to learn this person, know who this person was, I started to basically know my way around the place, uh, people, you know, automatically, or I guess it, it was going to happen eventually, they redirected me or directed me towards weed. Uh, and that's when I started to smoke a little too much. I'm talking like I'd get like a quarter bag, like every three days every two three days and then eventually when i got my own apartment my own place down there in michigan i'd start to go up on ounces and those ounces would last me about a week and a half and i'd be smoking like three to five blunts a day and uh one thing i kind of do regret about smoking weed is well one i wish i never put the blunt up to my mouth because it just kind of, it made me feel, I'm not going to say like drugged and heavy and low and all that, but it just made me feel really dazed and borderline psychotic in a way. Um, back when I was doing stand-up out in Michigan, I used to uh, talk about um, the, I guess, the, the imagery or the visual effects of how it would affect me when I first started smoking. Like everything sort of moved within like like picture frames, and I could literally see the picture frames from like a like a House of the Dead two boss select screen. Like it, it was literally like going like a film, and it it just wasn't it wasn't good for me in my teenage years, especially. Even though I I was the salutatorian in my high school, it just wasn't it, it just wasn't beneficial to me as as a man or just I guess as a healthy person in general um, when socializing I'd find myself kind of dazed out um, my I don't, I don't want to call it my ADHD but this, my, my intention would just not really I wouldn't care you know and that that's the thing about weed when you smoke it it basically gives you the superpower of not giving a damn about nothing nothing is as big of a deal as it seems even though it is which is one of the reasons as to why I had to stop smoking weed because, you know, let's say bills would come up and I'd just be like, yeah, screw it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go out and get me like a, I'm gonna get me a big meal and then a couple hours later, I'm gonna get me a bigger meal. And I was just wasting money on food that I knew I didn't really need to eat as much, you know, at that time. And instead of me working productively and efficiently in a timely manner um i just find myself finding the the most riskiest shortcut way of just relaxing and doing nothing and and in a way i kind of forgot how being sober just is you know we came onto the planet you know not needing any sort of substance like we needed you know food and water love and some joy you know some toys or whatever whatever you want to whatever the case may be but you know we came into the planet not needing any sort of substance whether it be alcohol weed or pills or whatever you guys are doing nowadays but um that was one of the things that we sort of did for me too a lot of people say that it's not a gateway drug it's uh scientifically i guess no but if you know yourself and you know other people and how they basically go well if i did this that means i can take this you know that's basically i feel like what people mean by a gateway drug because it it, it kind of opens your mind up to being some sort of drug connoisseur which is always horrible always horrible which i actually um 
was during my early 20s to late teens um i i really really had to stop smoking because i i said this in my previous video uh i just two or three videos back but i had a really bad withdrawal because i was trying to stop smoking weed i was like all right it's, it's kind of becoming like a bit of a problem i'm like Every time I, I get a match done or every time I beat a boss, I'd be like, okay, it's time for a blunt. All right, it's time for a blunt. Every time I get done with an episode, uh, it's time for a blunt. Like, it was just, it was just getting out of hand. And one of the things that I noticed was my breathing was definitely messing up in a way that was uncomfortable. Um, I don't know if YouTube would want me to censor this exactly. I didn't, I don't necessarily know. But, you know, underneath the belt, you know the two basketballs you know whenever i breathe breathe breathed in and inhaled i felt like this weird sharp pain down there in that area and it would always happen after i hit the blunt and one of the things i i that sort of hit me was like maybe this is how cancer kind of comes out in a lot of people from smoking weed not just cigarettes it's just smoking in general and um it scared me, man. I didn't. I didn't like it. Um, I was shaking profusely. I was hearing things that weren't really there. Um, I'm walking around and I'm not really. I have no real objective, but I'm just like, well, I don't want to sit in the house. I just want to go outside and just just do nothing. And it sort of hit me as to like how my my old friends used to be childhood friends used to be when they were smoking weed. They would always. They didn't know how to sit down. And that's probably why a lot of my friends basically, I ain't gonna say went the wrong way, but they got themselves into into some trouble that they didn't even know how they got themselves there. They were just trying to basically not be bored. But um, weed seems to decrease the fun meter in a lot of things. Even though the trade-off is you relaxing and not giving a damn about anything, I don't think that it's worth it for you smoking because the more you smoke, the more you're going to have to smoke. And the more you're going to have to smoke, the bigger your pockets will have to be. And if you know anything about inflation and how the dollar is basically decreasing in value, it's going to be a problem. So I think that everybody should just do themselves a favor and just not smoke weed, man. Like. Remember, you didn't need any substance as a kid. You just needed music, games, chilling with people, whatever. But always remember, you do not you do not need to smoke weed or drink or do anything to validate yourself, to feel some sort of identity about yourself in a group. You don't need to do that. You'll catch ahead if you just stay sober. And that's all I got to say for the video, you guys. This was kind of a personal one. But thanks for watching.